1983 in the northern part of England. Yeah, I lived in a caravan at the sea co at the camp where people collected coal from the sea. Um, I had been photographing on the camp for about five months, but realized that my pictures were not, I was not close enough to the people that I was trying to photograph. And, that, and I thought the solution to this could be that if I moved to live on the camp, not that I just came and went each day, but if I was living on the camp, it would be a much, much better, I'd be able to get much closer. And so off, off Trevor bought a caravan and moved to live on the camp. And it was, uh, for me, it was a terrific place. Um, it was a very difficult place in the sense that uh, there were great rivalries between different people on the camp and the camp was often had like gossip and rumors about who was doing what and what was going on but there was always always activity and it was also so terribly elemental meaning it was on the edge of a, of a, sa of a cliff overlooking the sea and very exposed to all the weather uh, so when the wind blew there, it really blew. The caravans were often tied down, they were weighted, but still sometimes they blew over. And you could be, at night, you could be lying in bed wondering, will it blow over? But uh, I always took the chance it wouldn't. I never got out of bed. <laughs> um, I have a very good friend in Boston, and he had the best bar in Boston, and he was a fantastic man. And this bar had the best, the best jukebox. He was an interesting guy. He was a formerly a trade union organizer. And I liked him a lot. And in 1994, he took me into the middle of Boston to where the Civic Center is, which used to be the area for the working class in Boston where he was born, where he grew up with his five Irish-American brothers. And he was showing me all the places where different things happened. The houses weren't there, but you were saying, on that street lived this guy who died in Vietnam and his brother went into Congress. This guy who lived in this street, he went to jail. He was part of the, he was in the Mafia. And his, his brother got shot. And, we, and we, were, we were going around, he was telling me everything that happened about all these places that were no longer there. And I said, John, this is fantastic. You tell me about the history of this place. And he spun around and he got me by the throat and he pushed me against the wall and he had his fist up and he said, I don't know nothing about no fucking history. I'm just telling you what happened. I went, oh, John, yes, <laughs> that's what it is. That's what I do. You know, it's not, a, history is what's written. And the photographs are showing you what happened. And John was so angry about this idea of history. He was telling you something beyond, he was telling you what happened. And that for me is like the, the why I photograph. Can I stop? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.